Dat hij wordt vruchtvol. Zo, de team, ik ben Lidi in NCS. NCS is Engineering School. And uh, it is part of uh, Université Mohamed V Suisi. Uh, the team I am leading is named Al Khalsadi. So Al Khalsadi uh, was a mathematician in the 15th century. You can find some picture and some bi short biography of Al Khalsadi. So Al Khalsadi for us stands for Enterprise Architecture, Quality of Their Development and Integration. And uh, in, in some words, uh, for some organization, uh, you have business processes. And those business processes obey to vision and strategy. And those business processes are based on people and organization and technology. If well aligned with strategy if well aligned with the infrastructure they can deliver value those business courses will deliver value and of course the organization will be always learning from their experiences so there is some some loop back loop so we can improve business processes related to all the results and we can also uh, not just obey to, uh, to vision and strategy but also impact vision strategy if from our experience we have found some, some good optimization for vision and strategy. We also can, I mean, not just uh, apply what we can uh, apply from IT or organization but also impact organization and impact IT in order to, to deliver good value for, uh, for the, the proposed strategy. So this is very, very, uh, I mean, noble uh, purpose, but we need, we need the mechanisms, we need frameworks to do this. And enterprise architecture as among those mechanisms in order to, uh, to control this dynamics, this alignment dynamics between vision strategy, organization, people, and IT. And so the idea is not, uh, I mean, just to, to control the current state, but the idea is to uh, try to have a whole view of the current state of business organization and IT organization, but also the future desired state, what uh, we, uh, we, we call the as-is state and the to-be state. And so, in this diagram, you can see that the enterprise architecture will, uh, will help, uh, will help reach a future to-be uh, state Based, based on analysis of as is state. So, in every organization, you have business strategy and you have the infrastructure for business strategy. Organization, role and responsibilities, governance processes, people. And you have IT strategy, and you have IT infrastructure obeying to, to this strategy. So we have four dimensions. Enterprise architecture is gathering business infrastructure and IT infrastructure. And of course, this can be snapshot for T0 and the future hope in T1. And of course, enterprise architecture is the strategic planning to go from state zero to state one. C'est un processus de planification stratégique. Donc l'architecture d'entreprise va regrouper l'architecture métier 
qui se décompose en architecture, c'est-à-dire organisationnelle, qui travaille, comment ces gens travaillent avec leur process, quelle est leur hiérarchie, leur rôle et responsabilité, d'un côté, et d'un autre côté, l'architecture IT, que l'on connaît assez, les applications et la technologie. Bien évidemment, les applications et la technologie, et l'organisation et les hommes, doivent obéir à des stratégies, soit des stratégies métiers, par exemple acquérir un nouveau marché, améliorer la perception du grand public, satisfaire le client, ou bien des stratégies IT, qui est voilà, je veux améliorer, je veux réduire mes, euh, mes, euh, mes incidents IT, je veux réduire mes... Euh, je veux améliorer ma sécurité, je veux améliorer ma performance, je veux éviter les délits de service, etc. C'est des points pour la stratégie IT. Alors, euh, bien évidemment, le quotidien, euh, I mean, day to day, day to day, a problem for of, uh, IT organization, les DIC, are projects. They are, I mean, Manager projects, projects for installing or adopting new technology, for installing technology, for migrating from version of technology to another version of technology, to doing backup, restore, archiving, securizing, uh, improving performance, etc. IT operation and those IT projects need to be aligned with the strategy and enterprise architecture is in between those IT projects and the business and IT strategy. Of course, I need more than that to explain this. This is just to give you uh, some uh, appetizer, un uh, appétit pour la chose. Il faut beaucoup plus de temps. L'idée, c'est de positionner le cloud dessus. The idea is how to position cloud to use this as a model for bringing ideas of collaboration. So, uh, yeah, enterprise architecture, as I said, is the mix between business infrastructure, organization, process, and IT infrastructure, application, and technology. Skills, of course, because you, have, you need competences. Uh, let me just finish, then I, I can accept questions. And you can see all alignment possible. I mean, uh, you can bring new uh, IT uh, technology that can change the IT strategy, that can even change the business strategy, that can even change the business organization, or the business, organ the business strategy, I mean, for example, the marketer decide something, create new business, develop new product, uh, function of the, the requirements of customers, and then everything needs to be changed. I mean, changes are coming top down or bottom up or whatever. I mean, lots of dynamics of innovation. So technical innovation or business innovation. And I, my, 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 uh, my purpose of this is to show you that cloud can be seen as IT infrastructure, or can be seen as IT strategy. Of course, cloud is not only IT. Cloud brings behind business models, etc. So, but cloud is a technical innovation that can help business development and organization change, etc. Organization of users organization of uh, managers, etc. This is a slide showing that, what I said about alignment, that uh, the innovation can come either from business to infrastructure, or from infrastructure to business. Or from strategy to infrastructure, or from infrastructure to strategy, from business to IT, or from IT to business. What about cloud? So as I said, cloud can be seen as IT infrastructure. So from IT infrastructure, we can 
impact the IT strategy and then impact the business strategy. He can, as an IT infrastructure, he can change the business organization, how people work, how people govern processes, and then uh, uh, change the business strategy. Or it can be seen as IT strategy that can be changed, IT infrastructure and business organization, or as IT strategy that can be changed. Uh, but this is not the same way of uh, saying things. This is technology potential, so cloud seen as technology potential, or here cloud seen as uh, leveraging of service level. So if it is a uh, strategy, IT strategy, how we can think about service level agreement for final users, etc. So uh, Al Khalsadi uh, has lot of uh, lot of axes of research. You can find a detailed presentation of Al Khalsadi on uh, the link slideshare.net slash Kabaina. I, I will not go further or deeper in this. Uh, we work on enterprise architecture governance, enterprise architecture integration, quality. We have people deepening uh, maths methods for EA, and we also apply EA for ICT for this. I mean, the end user, which is who is not connected to technology, who has a, a mobile, how we can. Uh, profit from, benefit from all these innovations. And this is very important because we, we have in our, uh, I mean, uh, countries, uh, gaps or rupture uh, numeric, digital uh, gap or rupture, or, yeah. Oui. Non, 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 non. <laughs> Digital game. <laughs> But it is not the good word. I mean, people are not connected. Enterprises are not connected. Then citizens and users are not connected. Are connected by their mobiles. But still, a lot of things are to be. Are to be so how those kind of people will will benefit from this? So just in numbers, uh, the team has six years. Uh, we have six permanent researchers, four associated uh, researchers. Uh, Professor Hassan is uh, is among the team since uh, at least uh, three three years, uh, and uh, we have something like 30 PhD students, uh, 25 publications a year, four published books, three notion defense, and till now six PhD. Uh, that have defended, defended their uh, thesis. Uh, Al Khalsadi has uh, uh, participated in many FP projects uh, in e-learning, networking, uh, in French projects, and in Swedish Swedish collaboration projects. Uh, okay, so. Let me talk about the idea I came for. Uh, I can say that till now there are some ideas we can work on. Uh, enterprise architecture for cloud, I will explain. Interoperability of clouds, service oriented computing as a leveraging for cloud computing, and eGov and cloud computing. As I told you, there is a big uh, big challenge in Morocco nowadays, which is ego, ego uh, project, and this is really, I mean, uh, uh, a challenge of Morocco nowadays. So, regarding enterprise architecture for, transi for uh, cloud transition, till now, under your control, there are no standards for integrating heterogeneous components on the cloud. That not means that there is no technical possibilities, but still work are to be done, is to be done to, to create standards. Uh, 
of course, when we talk about cloud, we talk about uh, something in-house, something on the cloud, and we need to maintain a coherence between the in-house information system and the offshore information system. And, and so, if we do not have uh, some methodology to govern this enterprise architecture, uh, we will have like some spaghetti, architecture spaghetti, more than aligned architecture with strategy and etc. As, as we said. So we need tools to govern this. Uh, we need tools to accompany organization to move to the cloud, etc. To prioritize uh, part of information system to put on the clouds and so to, to master the as is and the to be regarding to, to cloud. So, uh, some idea, some question we can have, how EA facilities may offer, uh, governance may uh, offer services for governing cloud IT and in-house IT? I do not have the answer. Uh, how, I mean, till now cloud is presented as uh, IT infrastructure or IT strategy. How EA can uh, help IT people to convince business people that with cloud we can develop new businesses, etc. And this is sure, I mean, but all CTOs and CIOs need to uh, market the cloud more than, I mean, do the, the bad work for business. Mm -hmm. So this is like, I mean, uh, less technical, but for CTOs, this is a big challenge uh, for, for them. Second, uh, second uh, idea, which, which can be seen more, more technically, is that uh, till now cloud providers use different protocols, different virtualization platforms, different administration tools, different hypervisors, traffic managers, etc. Managing multi provider platform implies being able to manage execution and interoperation among those different clouds. I mean, if we put our data, our processes within one cloud, there are problems. But if we put part of our information system within many clouds, there are big problems. <laughs> and so, perhaps we have to think about interoperation of clouds, models of interoperation of, of clouds. Of course, with Greeks, this problem I mean, were clear, and now with, with the, the democratization of cloud, it will be critical, critical to, to, think, to think about, because if we talk with some editor, you have many ERPs. He will tell you, for this ERP, I am okay to, to host it, to cloud it. For this, I do not have possibilities, or I refuse by principle because it is a concurrent to, to lodge it. So you are obliged by definition to separate what X accepts and what X doesn't. ERPs are, are, are simple, ER, you, you can say ERP, CRM, databases, and you cannot find one, one cloud provider that will accept all your information system. So you have to deal with many. And dealing with many means interoperability of protocol, of message formats, of transaction, of security, SSO, single signal, etc. The third idea is about SOA. So guys from industry believe nowadays that SOA is a good leverage for cloud computing. Because if you don't think services 
for reusing part of your information system, you cannot, I mean, uh, you cannot decide cloud or not cloud. Because if you have your, your, your information system like a main, like a mono, mono, monolithic system, you cannot uh, divide it, so you cannot decide to cloud a part of it or not to cloud. You have to cloud it all or not to cloud it all, which is not realistic. So you have to, to, to divide your information system and a uh, uh, manner for doing this is SOA. Of course, it is just an image. SOA is more than this, but okay. Diviser un système d'information euh, avant de, de clouder. Donc on ne peut pas tout clouder ou ne rien clouder atomiquement, mais clouder une partie. Et pour dire je clouder une partie, il faut que déjà le système s'apprête à à se séparer, à se partager, à, se dé à, se, à, se, à, à être décomposable. Et bien évidemment, euh, alors, uh, SOA uh, will help accessibility, visibility, extensibility, SLA control, you can have some SLA policies and alerts about SLA respect and so on, adherence to standards, etc. Uh, um, Amazon is based on web service APIs. Uh, but the problem, what's our problem? Problems are coming from this distribution again. Transaction, if you lose some message you, in some transaction, you have to, to roll back. How to roll back um, within multiple clouds? If those clouds do not respect the same web service transaction, let's say, protocols. If we have asynchronous messaging, and if some message is lost, how to recover? How to handle timeouts? How to resend it again? So you, 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 told, you told about uh, uh, Amazon uh, queuing service. Other clouds, do they support the same asynchronous messaging uh, queues? I, I, I don't know. But Amazon has their own protocols. What about others? Is there some standard? If we adopt SOA, SOA how we can improve existing protocols for this? Uh, security, of course. I mean, SSO, single signal, uh, is a problem. We, we need to, to share tokens. We need to have a third trust party. party. And uh, those parties need to, uh, to evaluate the confidence on, uh, for, of, of clouds, uh, need to, uh, to evaluate risk that uh, some cloud cannot respect some uh, level of, of security, authentication, authorization, etc. Uh, so, okay, this is, I do not have answers. Uh, and this is good, good point to, to ask to, to, together. The, the, the last point is less uh, technical, uh, more uh, ICT 4D, which is ego on the cloud. So there are new buzzwords: C cloud, C go. Mm -hmm. Instead of ego, we are talking about C go, cloud. Uh, and you can find cloud gov in UK, in Singapore, in Japan. They have developed, etc. Uh, when you, you 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 search, you can find that, for example, Australia uh, refuses that their data are cloud government data are clouded within some Australian companies subsidiaries of foreign international companies because they do not know where our storage area networks so uh, they prefer the, the storage area network to be in australia and so us collaboration is a real computer more than cloud computing but we can see that visualization between ministries between administration i mean is a good opportunity uh, for our country, but also for many, many countries. Uh, of course, this change will impact processes, technology, and people in administrations, IT organization. The question 
are how we can accompany this change, what kind of best and worst practice for adopting cloud within national e-governance status, especially for local e -gov, how to measure and manage data quality, data integrity, data availability, data loss protection, data security, data interoperability within within com uh, com computing, cloud computing based companies. Of course, this is very, very big challenge. I mean, uh, eGov is, 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 uh, is a challenge, but CGov pushes a lot of, lot of challenges. Of course, we cannot, uh, if we do not risk, we will not, I mean, benefit from, from the opportunities. So, this, this was my, my, my final, uh, my final uh, slide. Uh, if you want more details about other presentations, you can go to, to slideshare.net slash k, k by now. So, okay, uh, I am open to, to, to discuss if you have some questions about EA or uh, application to that. First, thank, thank you. you for your very interesting ideas because they open up a really new research direction, especially in the field of cloud computing. I don't have questions, it's actually two reflections. The first reflection, I was actually thinking that because cloud computing allows outsourcing everything, even you know, infrastructure, platform, software, even IT management, I think enterprises will more focus on business strategy rather than IT strategy. This is my first reflection. The second reflection is maybe a fifth idea to what you explain. Why don't we try to think about cloud computing for academic use? How to take the most advantage of cloud computing but in you know, universities, faculties, etc. And there is a really huge advantage in adopting cloud computing not only for businesses, Enterprises, but for academic use. So, so thank you, thank you for your questions. Uh, you know, uh, IT, IT is not like electricity. The, the metaphor behind, cl behind cloud computing is is utility computing. I mean, plug and play. Uh, we have power. We have uh, water. Uh, we have internet. We plug and play, and we do not have to manage this. This telecom, so you, you okay, you, you you switch on your mobile and you are connected. You you have ubiquitous computing. You switch on your P laptop and you have Wi-Fi, etc. But in cloud computing, there is the, the data dimension, and the data dimension, I mean, it is not uh, it is not obvious. That's okay, you forget your data on some offshore cloud and you focus on, on your business. But the, the data, I mean, is, is, is part of your, your core business. The data is your providers, is your customers, is your secret strategy, etc. I mean, it is, not, it is not that obvious. This analogy needs to be I mean, I mean, rethink. Cause if you do not pay some bill, and the cloud provider, I mean, <laughs> close the, <laughs> the system. Okay, okay. So you can go with your your business strategy, focus on your business strategy, but you cannot run your CRM, your ERP, etc. Cloud is, is, is I mean, is very good. Uh, in, in Japan, with the earthquake. Only the companies that have the information system clouded could provide their services with the same SLA. I mean, uh, this is a good, I mean, a good example for, for, for your idea. I mean, to focus on business and our IT is uh, even the CTO and the CIO will never, will not have the same role as we do not have uh, electricity technical officer. 
Le donut half électricité, la personne qui va gérer le, le générateur électrique, ça n'existe pas. Ça existe dans les, les usines, les, les chaînes de production, mais ça n'existe pas dans les, les petites PMI, PME. L'électricité, on a un abonnement et, et, et c'est tout. Donc, we do not have electricity technical officer. And with the cloud, the role CTO will, will, will change. But the CIO will be still here, information officer. So, I mean, it is not that obvious uh, for small enterprises and their staff uh, that cannot invest in hiring people for IT operation, you are right. But you cannot, I mean, say, I do not have any IT uh, strategy. I keep this to, 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 to cloud. This is not, not, not. I, 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 will, I want to answer the, the second question. When I talk about government, I talk about administration. And uh, government can help private sector, universities in some countries have cloud, I, I don't know about you, you, do you open your cloud to companies? Um, that is very difficult, uh, so at Tome for example, in, for our supercomputer, we actually uh, have a very difficult time to allow companies to access it for two reasons. The first one is from the company side, they are very worried about the security and privacy. And uh, on our side, uh, we are worried about not subsidizing industry. So you are, you are not allowed in Europe to do anything that subsidizes industry. So we really have to take uh, a comparable price as they would have to pay if they go to IBM or to, to whatever private industry. So these two things hinder us really to, to allow industry uh, or to, but for, I mean, to have it free working on our system. But for young startups to help them, I mean, grow uh, with facilities. Oh, it is difficult. That is yeah, really yeah. difficult. Incubators, I mean, L'université, elle peut même jouer le rôle d'incubateur et de cloud, de données pour les petites entreprises. But I think, I mean, I, I like this idea of the academic environment as a target for cloud computing. Yeah, because, yeah, because actually going for, let's say, more general aspects of e-government, you, you all also run in this very difficult question of uh, data security, right? And here you have, you have a little bit more uh, possibilities, I think, to explore the space. And we have maybe, I'm not sure, <laughs> more uh, people that are maybe more flexible to, to think about how to take up this technology. Yeah? So I, I, I would agree Actually, that yeah, this... When I mentioned cloud computing for academic use, I didn't mean that we want to open you know, our data centers to businesses. No, it's for our own students. For example, I have a platform installed, a private cloud, let's say, and I can take advantage of this private cloud for my students. For example, I'll just give you a simple example. I'm responsible for... Uh, for example, a course in which I need to run many practical projects. For each student, I, need, I might need four machines per student. Using the cloud infrastructure, I can give virtual machines to students instead of giving them physical access to, to the machines with all uh, the maintenance that this requires and all that stuff. For example, we have like uh, 5,000 machines in our faculty and the network administrator or the technicians are always um, having problems with installation each, the beginning of each semester, installing software, installing everything. And what we did is that having a cloud structure, a private cloud, just for private use, and have like same thing as Amazon images. We install everything on the, those images and we give access to students to those images. So they simply instantiate the image, and even in case there is a problem with that image, they simply destroy it and run another instance instead of reinstalling the whole system and physical problems. But, but this exists. This is academic use. This exists. Yeah, even, even, in, even in our university, the university has invested a lot in virtualization. Of course, we do not use 
100% of this, but we have we have uh, invested on this. I mean, this is possible, but the, I mean, the, the, what I I, I I like the new idea is even mutualizing this between ac academy, academia. Yes, that means for 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 uh, uh, high performance computing and so on. But this again, I mean, all this those innovation need need. Uh, government to put to put initial money to invest to to be the example for businesses and etc. But for I mean private private cloud this exists and you you, you mentioned in ex your experience we have also our experience. But for me I mean virtualization and local uh, local clouds you do not benefit from I mean the the, the scale the mutualization and all budget you can mutualize between universities and schools, etc. You still, I mean, the CapEx, OpEx, you still have it. But it's not really private, private cloud, because there is that multi-cloud notion. I have a private cloud in my faculty, you have a private cloud in your faculty, and we interconnect everything to have a multi-cloud. So this okay. is what I mean with the yeah. academic... Let's, 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 connect, uh, let's connect at least our two universities. Yeah, I connect Marwan. That's yeah, but cl cloud, co cloud, cloud connection, cloud connection, like virtualization. I mean, you open a session, and perhaps the station physically is not here, but there because uh, they do not need this resource now, for example. But yeah, let's let's keep this. Uh, this is a practical, not a research. Uh, but this can bring research research problems to solve. Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Euh, on sait ce qui se passe parce que on a un audio maintenant avec les citoyens à 18 ans. On a eu le bord à 18 ans. Sinon, de toute façon, ces journées vont continuer le lundi. Donc, si le professeur Bayer sera à Paris le lundi, donc on va laisser des comptes jusqu'aux heures. Donc, si